Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 1162 as far from land as possible. So we are going to solve this problem using a breadth first search approach. So we will see how we are going to solve this. Now let's dive into the solution. So this is the first example that has been given in the lead code website. Zero represents water and one represents land. Okay. So we need to find a zero, a water. So here zero represents water, right? So we need to find a zero that is far from any one of the ones. Okay. So in other words, we need to find a water that is as far as possible. That is we need to maximize from any one of the land, land cell. So if I calculate this zero distance from all of the ones in my given matrix, everything is going to be same value. So it's fine if I calculate the distance from any one of the ones. It's all going to be same, right? So it's fine to calculate from any one of the ones. Now we will see how we are going to calculate this particular distance. So I'm going to have a stack and I'm going to store the rows and columns of the value one. Okay, I'm going to store all the rows and columns of the number one. So for example, first I will pick zero comma zero and I'm going to also have the distance initialized at start as zero for all the rows and columns. That is all of my one. Okay, so here the row is zero and column is zero. So I'm, I'm picking that index since the value is equal to one. So I'm going to pick the rows and columns of the number one. So I'm taking zero comma zero and initializing that distance as zero at start. Then I'm going to pick this one. Okay. It is zero comma two. Okay. It's zero comma two. So zero comma two. And initializing the distance as zero at start. Then I will pick this one. Okay its rows and columns 2 comma 0 and initializing the distance as 0 then i will pick the rows and indices of this one which is 2 comma 2 this is 2 and second row and second column right so 2 comma 2 and i will initialize it with 0 so i'm going to use bfs approach so i need to visit the nearest values which is left right top and bottom at the same time itself i'm not going depth first search i'm going breadth first search i need to see whether there is any zero nearest this one okay so to access these directions i'm going to take the indices of the corresponding ones so first i will pick zero comma zero okay to visit the nearest two nodes this is the distance, this is the rows and columns of this one. Now I will check in all four directions whether there is zero or not. So first, I will visit this zero, which is the index one comma zero, right? Then I will pick the distance of this one, this distance, that is this. I will add one to that. I will add one to that. So it will become one. Then I will store this in my stack. So it will become zero comma one comma one. Then I will visit this zero, which is of index one comma zero. So I will visit that. Then I will add to this distance, which is zero, right? it is zero so i'm going to add one to it so i'm also going to store that one in my stack and after visiting those zeros i will make them as one which means i have visited that particular zeros okay and since i have visited all of my nearest zeros i will pick the next row and column Okay, which is zero comma two 
so 0 comma 2 is here so i'm going to visit all my zeros from this one i'm going to check whether there is zero or not i'm going to calculate those distances so i'm going to visit the nearest zero that is this zero so its rows and column is one comma two then i will pick the distance of this one so i initialized as zero so i'm going to add one to it and store it here so it will be one and i'm going to put that in my stack so it will be one comma two and one okay then i will make this zero as one then i need to check whether there is any zero or not from this one so there is no zero in all of the four directions right so i will finish this particular value now i will pick the next one two comma zero which is the this one okay i need to check whether there is zero or not here it is, it is there right in one of the directions there is zero so i'm going to pick that zeroth row and column that is two comma one okay two comma one so i'm going to add one to the this distance and store it here and make this as one which means i have visited okay and i'm going to store this in my stack two comma one and one since there is no zero to pick from this one i'm going to pick the next value so next i will pick two comma two and zero now i will check whether there is zero from this one there is no zero right so i will pick the next one this one that is zero comma one and the distance is one so if you guys notice that so this one was zero in our question so we are just moving towards the farthest zero in our matrix from one now i will check whether there is any zero to this one or not so here there is a zero right so i'm going to pick this zero rows and columns which is one comma one and i'm going to add one to this distance and it will be two i'm going to put this in my stack and i will make this zero as one now can you guys see all of my values in the matrix or the grid has become one then the loop is going to run all of the rest of the values that i stored previously since all of my values in the grid is one i'm going to come out of the loop so i'm not going to add anything right only when we have zero we are going to increase our distance like this and stack those indices or the rows and columns in our stack otherwise i'm just going to pick and check whether there is a zero or not i'm just going to come out of the loop so finally i will return the stored rows and columns and its distance okay i will pick the rows and columns that is stored at the last in this case this will be the last row and columns and its distance so this zero is the far from all of the ones okay so i'm going to return this distance that's all the logic is now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i'm going to have a stack okay and i'm also going to have a count variable okay i'm going to have a count variable i'll let you guys know what is the count is then i'm going to take the length of my grid so we know our grid sizes n cross n so now i'm going to iterate through the grid okay now i'm going to check 
whether that particular element is equal to my one if it is equal to one i'm going to append that in my append the rows and columns of that one in my stack okay inj are the rows and columns i'm going to initialize the distance as zero at the start i'm also going to increase the count variable this counts the number of ones that are present in our grid okay i will let you guys know what is that is so using the count variable i would be able to check whether all of my values in the grid are equal to one okay so there is an edge condition right we need to check so if it is true then i'm going to return minus one then i'm going to use stack to check whether all of the values in the grid are zero okay then then also i'm going to return minus one then i'm going to pick the rows and indices from my stack that i have stored okay then i will check all four directions of that particular one okay and now i need to check whether my row and column is going out of my matrix so for that i am writing two conditions okay so this will help me to check whether i am going out of my matrix in both row and column then i need to check whether that particular value is equal to my zero okay if i visit a zero then i will make that zero as one then append that in my stack so i will be storing the rows and columns of that zero okay that will be my x and y then i will increase the distance that i picked from the value one okay that's what this particular loop will do then finally i will return the distance that is stored in the last tuple okay i think it's fine let's run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like and subscribe i will see you in the next one